Ready? Rory McIlroy, one under 69. Rory, pretty stacked leaderboard here. Obviously a good two days for you. Just put us in your mindset right now. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, after 36 holes in a major championship, that's all you want to do is, is put yourself right in the mix uh, going into the weekend. And uh, for a little part of the day there, it, it seemed like I was going to be a, a few more behind, but I, I dug deep and, and played the last eight holes really, really well. And, um, you know, that was the goal after I bogeyed 10. Uh, I just wanted to try to shoot under par. You know, I had some chances coming up um, and just played a, a really clean eight holes. Which was which was pleasing. Hit fairways, hit greens, give myself chances, and um, you know, got myself right back in the tournament. We're gonna go here to the right. Is that as good a double bogey putt you've ever held? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want to try to you know be making thirty footers for sixes, but um, yeah, I, I I got it in in the the least amount of strokes possible in that hole after what happened, and um, yeah, I made two bad swings today. I made a bad swing on, on the second shot on three, and I made a bad swing on the tee shot on 10 and, you know, limited the damage as much as I could. I mean, those, you know, those two holes cost me three shots, but um, I stayed patient and, you know, I knew I, knew I was going to give myself chances if I just hit the ball the way I have been hitting it. And, um, you know, today was a, a really good example of just having a good attitude. The thing is, that, that thing at the side of three, it could totally get away from you at that point, couldn't it? And, and that didn't happen. That must be a big confidence. Yeah, I mean, I think as well. I mean, it was, I mean, you're only two over for the day. It's, it wasn't disastrous. And I knew, you know, I had the fifth hole coming up, the par, um, the short par four. And then I had the eighth hole, which is a play on a very short par five today. So, you know, I knew I had a couple of chances to get it back to even par. And then, um, you know, I, I, I three putted six, but... Um, yeah, I, I knew I was going to have chances, so I didn't panic. I didn't do anything stupid. I didn't force anything, and um, you know I was rewarded with that patience. You know by by playing a really good you know back nine. We'll stay here on the right with Alex. Uh, you showed off some pretty good speed on the 17th hole, running up to the green. Was that about? Oh, the I've fact? got more. I've got more than that. <laughs> I got way Talk more about that, that decision to run up there. That was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, well. Uh, Austin uh, Zanders Caddy said, "Do you mind if I go up and mark your ball?" And I was like, "Well, stay with him. I'll go and do it." So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, Zanders is a pretty good wedge player. So if that ball was was in his way, um, happy to go up and mark it for him. And he had a great shot after that to a couple of feet in mid birdie. So, here on your left, Dylan. Yeah, you're one shot back. Obviously, a stacked leaderboard, but right in the mix. Like, how do you feel about your position heading to the weekend? I feel good. Um, I was trying to play my way into the final group, and then I re then I was told in scoring that the final group tees off at 3:45 tomorrow. So it's like maybe I don't want to be in the final group. <laughs> Seems very late. Um, but yeah, I mean, I you know once I got you know I was trying to make birdie there on 18 to try to get to five, and uh, but you know I'm I'm really happy with my position. You know I I played a good round of golf yesterday. I came back well today after a after a tough start and. Um, yeah, right in the mix. You know, couldn't be any happier. Right. What do you expect oh. from the golf course this weekend? Yeah, I mean, it's breezy. Um, obviously, the some of that rain that was forecast didn't didn't materialize. So uh, it's getting it's still sort of receptive out there. It's not not too fiery, but um, I would expect just over the weekend for it to get a little faster and a little fierier, and um, maybe just have to be you have to be pretty precise already, but. You know, maybe just that little bit more precise with with everything. We'll go right here on the right. Rory, how much fun, much more fun is it to be in contention with so many big name players at the top of the leaderboard? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's why we play, right? I sort of said it after Canada last week when I was with JT and Tony. It's you know, you want to go up against the best to to try to bring the best out of yourself, um, and to see Colin and John and Scotty and Sam up there and whoever else. Um, you know that's what major championship golf's all about. That's what competition's all about. You, I certainly don't want it to be easy. I want guys to go out and shoot 65, so I have to go and shoot 64. I mean that's that's competition, and that's um, that's at the heart of this game. And uh, I'm ex I'm excited to be in that mix going into the weekend. Far right to Brendan. Rory, it often seems like your fans, especially um, maybe more often than other players kind of ride the emotional waves with you, good and bad. And I wonder, why do you think it is that people seem to have kind of a very, like, emotional attachment to 
um, you know, the ebbs and flows of your rounds and you chasing this major, frankly? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I've been out here a long time. Maybe they they I, they feel like they've they've watched me grow up and they've sort of been on that journey with me. Um, I think I play quite a a motive brand of golf, if there is such a thing. Um, and I, you know, I, I I've always liked having crowds. I like the inter I like the interaction. I um, I enjoy that part of it. So um, I'm certainly not one to you know keep my head down and, and sort of look straight in front of me tunnel vision. I like looking around. I like seeing people out there, and um, you know maybe that's part of it. Two more, Ian. Hey, Rory. Obviously, nobody else on, on at the top of the leaderboard has won four majors like you have. On the other hand, it's been nearly eight years since you won number four. So does the positive thought still overwhelm that negative reality, or do they sort of balance each other out? Yeah, I mean, I... I mean, I think I have to go out with the mindset this week that I'm going to try to win my first again. I think that's sort of the... I mean, and I'm, I'm playing as good as golf as I've played in a long time, so... Um, I have a lot of experience. Yes, I've, I've won major championships and other big events, and, um, but I don't think, you know, just because I've done that, it doesn't mean that I'll hit better golf shots or I'll hit better putts. I mean, I, I, I'm in a good place. I'm, I'm really happy with where my game's at, and, and I think that's the most important thing. Last question here, James. How do you think that emotive style of play helps you out here at Brookline? Um, probably doesn't. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess it does. I think I, I ride waves of momentum pretty, uh, pretty easily. Um, certainly, you know, whenever you know you get on the crest of a wave and you try to ride it as long as you can, and I've gotten a little bit better at um, trying not to ride, ride the other ones, um, you know, downwardly. So I. I think if you can get it, and you can, there's there's a part of this golf course, I think there's a nice flow to it that you can get on a little bit of a run and start to make some birdies. And um, if I do encounter that this week, uh, you know, I feel like I'm uh, I'm pretty good at riding those sort of waves of momentum through the, the course of a round. Rory, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.